Welcome to the Grace Down Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm IT Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. TNT, you got Yo. something for me today. What up? I do. I do. I do. All right, Jonas. Look, I was on Reddit t- uh, last night and I came across the video that was on a uh, just like one of those reddit subreddits where they just laugh at other people i guess right like <laughs> like was it like tiktok cringe or like one of those like mildly mildly interesting or yeah something something, some, something along those some lines. of those yeah, yeah but okay. either way and the video was a uh it was a a young black male okay and a older white female okay and they both were working in either like a nursing home or a hospital or something and they you know they both had scrubs on okay and the caption says, um, she don't know, or she told her husband she's going to wear. I'm going to actually play a little bit of it here in the background. It says, she, she told, told her husband she's staying to work an extra shift at work, and we really booked a hotel room for the night. Now, you don't get to see her face. You get to see the dude's face. Uh, and she's talking to her husband, and she's like, uh, yeah, I'm going to work the night shift tonight. And... Uh, He's like, yeah, and she's like apologizing. I'm sorry, but you know, it'll be good. The extra money will be good, and uh, you know, yeah, I'll see you. I'll see you in the morning. And that, you know, it, it just kind of goes on from there. You never even get to see her face. Okay. And he's just holding up a camera and holding onto her arm with this camera. Look how proud of him he look at himself. He looks though. <laughs> he looks like really proud of what he's doing right now. So, I will tell you what I commented on this video. Okay. What right. I said, uh, because I noticed that in the comments section, it started divulging into a lot of, a lot of hate for this young man. All okay. Right? And I was just like, I, I didn't really see how he had committed any crime in this. I, I, I didn't feel like he had committed a crime. Jones, what, what do you think about the situation though? Like in, in aspect in like, in the aspect of what? I what mean, what it? would your comment on the comment section be to this video if you saw this? I wouldn't comment on it. But um, I'm forcing you to make a comment. What's your what's your comment? I would be like, if I was going to make any comment, I probably would comment, man, he looks really proud of himself because that's the first thing that I (laughs) look up. Look at him smile. He's like, look at him. Look at his face. He looks look how proud of himself. He looks. No, dude. You can like you can tell that, you know, she she's not, you know, like she's not a 10 out of 10. Yeah, I mean, she's, she's like a good hard seven. Six, so, are you asking five. me if I think like what they're doing is wrong or like what were people Do you saying? Think it's morally corrupt. Um, who is who is morally corrupt in here in this situation? I think she's way more morally corrupt than he is. Way more because she's or the one exclusively. Um, I mean, okay, if you know, if you willingly know that someone has a partner. And they're like going to cheat on them with you. Yeah, you have to take some of the culpability. Do you? A li- at least a little bit, because you like you you still could be like, man, that's kind of wrong to do that to somebody, or like, do I want to mess with someone who would do that to somebody else, or like whatever. But I mean, it ain't like sixty forty. It's like she's the one who. One is calling and lying to her husband, sleeping around on her husband, like all those things. Like, so, I mean, she, she's majority wrong, but there, he has a little bit of culpability. Cause like, he could also be like, Hey, you got a husband. Like I'm good. Okay. Okay. And I, I look, I'm going to concede as to, yes, I guess if you have some like heightened degree of morality, you can be like, I probably should not tempt this person to do something that is morally wrong for them. You know, it's like, even though it's not even like, honestly, you have no prior convictions in this case toward either one of those individuals and how they how they live their life. Right. I could see you not wanting to do or edge somebody to do something that is morally Well, corrupt. yeah, because I, I know people who will be like, yeah, but they got a boyfriend or they got a girlfriend. I'm not going to mess with them. Yeah. Or a husband, especially. Like, they got a husband. I ain't going to mess with them. They got a boyfriend or a girlfriend or a wife. I ain't going to mess with them. So my comment was basically in, in, in the uh, in the Reddit comments was, like, I don't I see dude as being innocent. She's the one who's cheating, lying to her husband. She could always just say, no, thank you. I have a husband. When I mean, he, you're not wrong. She the could just say, come. no, thank you. And my whole thing is, like, it's like temptation is out there. 
You know what I'm saying? So if somebody is going to do something bad, you have to look at the person who is doing something bad and you have to, I don't, you have to put the emphasis on that. The person who has never met their husband. Now it's look, okay, look, it's a big difference. If a homeboy had been to the husband's house, He's playing cards with them, hanging out, shook his hand, watching the gang. If we've ever touched beer bottles, <laughs> If he's just a, a ghost to you, essentially, like you have no clue what he looks like, you've never met him. For all you know, he doesn't exist. I mean, well, you, we know he exists, but like you, but you know, you only know of him in name and like her talking to him on the phone. It just, it just, honestly, it kills me. Is that all the like, like I don't know, man. What's what can I say? I, I just want to call him cucks. I just want to call them the straight up cuck. All of the little cuck boys on on Reddit, cuck boys. all the little cuck boys on Reddit who are just like, I'm sorry, you don't know what the hell you're talking about, dude. He's just as much to blame. Are you insane, mother? I've been cheated on before. All right, I've been cheated on, Jonas. I have no problem saying that. At no point in time did I think about going to that dude's house and shooting him, or going to that dude's house and beating him up. I mean, I it agree. was look, chick. You effed up. If anybody deserves any punishment, it's you. I'm not going to shoot you. I'm not going to hit you. So, Adi freaking yos. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, you're not wrong. Like, I don't, like, I don't, I've never caught someone cheating on me, but I wouldn't be mad at the guy at all. Like, if my, if, if the girl I was dating was cheating on me and I found out, yeah, I wouldn't be mad at the guy at all. No, I'd be like, hey, homie, you can have her. I'd probably dap him up on the way out just to let her know it really ain't a thing. You know yeah, what I'm like, saying? because, because, like, like you said, like, no matter how much temptation is there, you can always be like, no, thank you. Exactly. I've had this come up before in the past, dude, because I've had girlfriends say, is, um, I don't, I, I lack an emotion. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. I, I mean, I feel you. I've been there too. <laughs> All right. They say I lack an emotion and I don't get bent out of shape. They're like, oh, some guy was flirting with me. I'm like, All right. So did you suck his dick? Oh, no. <laughs> did okay. you suck his dick? Then why the fuck should I care? I don't care if you get flirted with. I don't care if a guy hits on you. I care if it happens over and over again. I care if it happens when you tell him to stop. I care if I've met him. I've shaken his hand. We've sat on the couch together. We've had conversations. Like you consider him like acquaintance or friend and he's like hitting on you. You're like, yo. If you know who I am, if you've looked me in my eye and you've spoken words to me, now it's a disrespect thing. That's a big difference. Like, if I don't know your husband, I've never seen him, I've never even seen a picture of him, like, bro, I don't care about this dude. It's like, you cheating on your boyfriend. If it were a boyfriend situation, I don't even think we'd be having this conversation. I don't think half of the people in the Reddit comments would have been like, Dynamite, you're a sick person, and you need to be put down. <laughs> wow. They you know tell you need to be euthanized? I don't know, probably. Because oh. I, I definitely doubled down on it. I was farming down votes, man. Yeah, yeah I guess I uh... was farming down votes. Yeah, but like, but yeah, man, it's like if someone's throwing themselves at you, you can easily say no because because if you care you about your partner enough, you're gonna be like, nah, it's important not more important to me not to cheat and risk this relationship. Yeah. If but obviously if she's calling her husband and telling him, hey, honey, I'm working late, that they about to get divorced anyway. She already checked out. If you sleeping around, your marriage is over. I mean, look, that does not make it any better for her because cheating is cheating is cheating. Oh, absolutely. Cheating. I agree. I'm not but, saying I'm not trying to make an excuse for her any by any means. And I don't know if it really shoots the other participating party any bail either because just being like, well, their marriage is already over. That's just something you say to yourself to make you feel good. I don't need, <laughs> I don't need that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't need that in my life. What I need is to say is like, if... I were to pursue a woman and she has a boyfriend or a husband. She has every right to just say, no, I have a boyfriend. If I say, Hey, how are you doing? Oh, I have a husband. I don't see what they got to do with me. All you got to do is say no again. And it's over with. But if you say, Oh, why don't we get a hotel tonight? I don't see where any guy is in the wrong for that. I really don't. I don't see myself being angry with that individual. I feel myself being angry with the person who had a commitment in this in this whole incident. So, I mean, if that dude is single and he's just like, hey, you want to hook up? And she's like, let's get a hotel. And she's like, oh, by the way, I have a husband. Let me call him real quick. And he's like, uh, what? 
How do we know that's not what happened? I mean, obviously, it seemed like they worked together or whatever. Oh, yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. But, like, I'm sure that's happened in some relationship. Yeah. You know, you're, she's out at the bar doing whatever, or he's out at the bar, somebody hits on him, and they're like, you want to go to a, go get home? Yeah, you're hot. And, he, and she, they're like, oh, yeah, let me call my hu- my husband or my wife. And they're like, excuse me? Yeah. I, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> I just think it's that, Jonas, a lot of people out there are putting themselves in the shoe. Like, we've been, we've been cheated on before. And you put yourself in the shoes of these other people getting cheated on. And you're like, that's got to be the most devastating thing. I can never stand for that. And you, you get, like, these internal emotions. Yo, temptation is out there. Morality, not so much. You got you got to keep your wife happy, keep your relationship keep your strong, happy. Yeah, keep, keep your, an open yeah. line of dialogue with the person, people you hold uh, special in your life. Yeah, man, that's like, what you need to take responsibility for yourself because there are snipers out here. <laughs> All right. And homeboy with the dirty, nasty dreads. I don't care. Yes, dreads are dirty and nasty. I don't care. Look at this dude. Look at him. He's so proud of what he's he did. He's a sniper. Though. He's so proud of he's what he so did. He's so proud. Look at his face. You know what it is, Jonas? And this was brought up to me too. I don't know if you saw. There was like an, a, a small like adult clip that was going around where there was like a female prison guard who was uh, having intercourse with a, with a uh, with a person in a cell. Oh my god! No, yeah. I have not heard this. Wow, yes. that's, that sounds bad. So it was going around, and it wasn't even like that good of an adult clip, right? It wasn't that good. At, like, and there wasn't like a lot of nudity or anything, but it was, it was going around, and it, I, I think down to its very basis, when a woman or a man does something in your honor, in this case, it would be an honor to spend time with him. That is detrimental. That could lose them their job. That could lose them their uh, their marriage. That could lose them their freedom. And they do something like that with that much emotion just to spend that moment of time with you in ecstasy. There's something sexy about that. That's why this type of inf- that's why this type of stuff pops off to some people. To me, I just see people having a good time, man. <laughs> people being people, unfortunately. You can't control yo ho. <laughs> Who can't, can't control y'all? Who? I'm just saying. That guy? <laughs> yeah, I don't Jonathan's know. It's a quote. Man. Oh, Sorry. I thought you were gonna say she gotta go. No, you can't control your hoe. Is uh, you can't control your wife. As well oh, as yeah, anyway. man. I don't know. That's some loud ish though, because it was well, the fact that like I don't know if she does not recognize that he was putting it on the internet. I mean, granted, it didn't show her face, but like, I, yeah. I well, honestly listen, think it's fake. If somebody sees him and knows where he works and sees her, like, if he saw that, vi- her husband saw that video, he knows that's his goddamn wife. He ain't gonna be like, no, it's not a, tr- it's not a secret. He's like, isn't that John that you work with? That looks like you. She's like, that's not me. That's <laughs> literally your tattoo on your arm. That's not me. Like, <laughs> I mean, Lord. Not me. God. Anyways, that's all time we have for today's episode. Go to thecrazynow.com and subscribe for Jonas. TNT. Yep.